Bangkok Chit Chat Spotlight. Hello there, welcome along to Bangkok Chit Chat Spotlight. And before we get into our Spotlight feature, I'd just like to thank Clip Cube Media for this new set that we have here that they designed especially for our set of Spotlight programs. So thanks to them. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Right, now before we get into the interview, I'd also like to remind you to uh, like and subscribe. If you're on YouTube, uh, to subscribe and like and share. And if you're on Facebook, then do the same because that will really help us uh, do more things on Bangkok Chit Chat. Right, the lady that I've got uh, today uh, on, uh, on our spotlight is uh, a lady who's received the MBE. Uh, which stands for Member of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire and represents an individual's outstanding service to the community with hands-on service. Awarded by the man, Prince Charles at Buckingham Palace back in 2014. Uh, she's a long-time uh, chairman, uh, she was a long-time chairman of the British Women's Group and uh, the St George's Society President and Committee Member. Uh, also involved in organising the Plangit Fair for charity and helps with a variety of charities like the Gift of Happiness Foundation and visits Thai prisons to assist foreign inmates and communicate with their families. That's what we're going to be talking about in a moment. Would you please welcome to Spotlight, it's Gail <laughs> Bailey, MBE. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Just go away, yeah. <laughs> So, when did you come here to Thailand? Uh, in May 1997. Uh, oh. We came for three years, and, and that's 22 years now. <laughs> yeah. I guess you're staying. Uh, well, sort of. We've still got a home in England, though. So, oh, yeah. so we're back are, and forth? Yes, mainly here, because my husband's uh, got his own small business here now. Okay. Only, yeah. So okay. So what, what? Why did you come here? Well, um, we had the opportunity to come. Uh, just it was six months after my mother had died, and my dad had died nine months before that. And then my husband he would travel backwards and forwards, and the sales in uh, far east and east, you know, Southeast Asia were climbing. Mm. So the company that he worked for he, uh, wanted to open a representative office in the region. And Bangkok is, is a, I feel, well, he did as well, is the best hub out of Singapore or, or Singapore, Hong Kong and KL. Mm. But Bangkok is, is like in the middle. So we came, just the two of us and our kids, uh, because we thought the time was right. Mm. Well, the time wasn't right for the kids, but it was, we had the opportunity. Mm. And not everybody has an opportunity in life. Mm. To, to do anything different. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, back then it was also quite a far way to go. Oh I my mean, goodness, it's not like yeah, nowadays, yeah, yes, it? absolutely, yeah. yes. But, um, you know, it, we just thought we didn't want to get, we were both 50 then, we didn't want to get to be 60 and thinking, what if, what if, you know. Well, yeah, with all due respect, yes. what you did is what normally I came here when I was 30 and yes. I stayed here whatever it's more of a younger person's thing yes. so at 50 yeah that was quite a big uh, a, a big decision to I, make I never lived abroad before traveled we traveled mm. and only ever lived in three houses you know okay. three <laughs> three places so yeah. um, Has, have things changed here since you've been here expat wise uh, well the lots well in the shops you can get lots more uh, international food yeah. uh, when we first came I used to have to Hunt round for potatoes. Oh, and, and, yeah, marmite. marmite. All the, all the usual. Chocolate was cool. Cho chocolate, yes, and yeah. and the Kit Kats here tasted revolting. Oh, and the chocolate, even the yeah. dairy milk, it's uh, white when you open up. Yes, nah, it's, it's been on the shelf yeah, yeah. for about a month. Yeah, yeah, we don't we don't do that. Yes, we don't like that. But um, when we used to have family come out, and we used to, used to bring cheese, bacon, yeah. sausage. Yeah. Uh, pork pie because yeah, we're from Leicester. They all pork pie. <laughs> uh, my family members, <laughs> relatives, sausage from Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> w when uh, we would know about that. Uh, oh, no, so, uh, well, haggis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they still my relatives come out. They still say, "Do you want mustard?" You know, yeah, and all yeah, this. Uh, yeah. I say, the "Well, actually, it's quite expensive here." So yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, mustard and Branson pickle. I mean, oh, uh, yes. or, or Bisto. Yeah. You know, you can get all these things, but you look at, and you shouldn't do it. Because, but we do convert that to. Mm. Um, and now with the pound being, or I don't know whether it's the Bart Strong or whatever, 
it's now only f about 40 baht to the pound. That's right. I know. When you first came here, it was probably about 70. Well, when we first came in the May, it was 39.40. But by the Christmas, it was um, al not almost 100, uh, mm. you know, peaking. And because we came to open a representative office because the sales were increasing, and nobody wanted to buy anything because everything was two and a half times mm. more expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the people in the West, I didn't have a clue. Mm. They, they thought my husband was holding back orders and he was going to go, da da, you know, here they are. And uh, they no. Mm. Well, it's, it's good to go back to England now, though. I find uh, it quite, you know, you go to yes. a pub, yeah. have a couple of pints of beer, fish and chips, you could be in the Royal Oak, <laughs> yeah, price-wise. Yeah. That's right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. All right, yeah. then, have you got some questions there, Andrew, or do you want me to carry on? Well, I suppose one of the things is that you, uh, you've been here, I've known you for many, many years. We and, have. Uh, we, we were heads of loyal societies together. Right. Yeah, we had a very good laugh at the <laughs> yeah. table once. We won't go to what we're laughing at. Oh, yeah. well, I do. When you the, remember, what was it? When it well, the, the, it broke. There was a big, long the big long table. Well, Andrew sat on it or something. No, yeah. I sat on it. it. I sat on it and I disappeared. <laughs> well, that was one time. Is that how you met? Uh, well, we, we, we knew each other before, but yeah. we got an awful lot closer. Yeah, yes. I mean, I, I always classed as Gail as my uh, my 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 mum in Thailand. <laughs> yeah. There's many many people. Yeah. I know. I yeah. mean, yeah. Uh, Eddie I, from Gift of Happiness. He calls me mother, mother, yeah, mother. M U T H E R, yeah. mother. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we're, we've gone through a few of the things mm -hmm. you've actually done. Uh, so one of the, one of the areas that people know you for and I think probably that's part of what you got your MBE for mm -hmm. was the prisons. Yes. How did you get involved in the prisons? Well one of my friends uh, was leaving and she wanted to somebody to continue. Well, the prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No they'd let her out. <laughs> that's one thing we've never been to a women's prison because there were never any Br never any British ladies or women in the prisons. Oh. Only, only the guys, only the chaps. Anyway, my friend was leaving and she says, you know, she kept smithering to say, oh, will you go? So me and my friend Catherine Biggs, I uh, said, OK, we'll go. Let's appease her. We'll just go the once. Well, we went the once and we saw these three British chaps, two of whom were in shackles because they were on death row. That was a bit daunting, but oh. we, ch we chatted to them. And as we were leaving, Catherine said to me, we'll have to come again, won't we? So I says, yeah. And that's how it was as, I mean, it isn't for everybody. Mm. Were you uh, scared? No, no. You didn't feel intimidated no, no, by any, no. either guards or, no, or prisoners? No, 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 no. In, well, I was, you know, we've made friends with the guards and they got to know us. And then we could take lots of things in. They allowed us to take in um, bread, ham, cheese. Because my husband used to say, oh, it's, I think I'll have ham sandwich. Oh, that's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> and my friend, she went back to England once and she'd done a lot of um, things um, like a shepherd's pie and chilli for her husband, but he didn't use it. So when he left, he left, I had the key and he'd left a message on their fridge, on their freezer. Um, what was it? Far, uh, Ch at the, for the for the chaps in prison, yeah. I can't think of the word he used. You know, inmates. Like, inmates, yes. Yeah. You know, he just don't said it. Yes, I mean, yeah. Did, don't touch. By going there a lot and, of jail. and seeing <laughs> what was like worth its weight in gold, but yeah. simple things like toothpaste. Did it make you appreciate that stuff? Oh my At goodness. home at yes. your house, absolutely. Same, yeah. Yes, yes. Well, you you don't realise they and things like pepper. And salt, yeah, which you, Just, we take yes. for granted. And at Christmas time, I mean, there was nothing different. But I used to cook sausages and take it in and chill mm. them, take it in, then post in. We weren't allowed to take in the tins, but I could post it in. Tins. So they had a look. They'd open yeah. them and look. Oh or? yes, yes, yeah, right, yeah. and stab and through and the bread and stab through the cheese. I don't mm. so what, what, what so worry going. about your food presentation. <laughs> yeah, <then>. yeah. <laughs> No, I didn't bother there about that. There goes my quiche. In fact, in fact, I've, I've got a, I've got a photograph of uh, guys in the prison on Christmas Day, and they're all sitting around with, and they'd managed to get some chips. I said, "Oh, we had a great fry up, girl. You know, they've got sausages, and I sent some bacon in, 
and uh, eggs they got and potatoes and beans mm. so that Is was it, their thing. would you would you say that that was the best way to do it uh, there was no money being given to them from you did oh, you oh no no because no because that's i can imagine is a, a yeah a dead end street that yeah is, yeah so. well the, sometimes they had money from their families mm. and the, or the families would put money into atms right yeah oh, well. well the families would put money into my uk bank okay. and then i would put it into the guy's prison account at the, at at the, the what do you call that shop the commissary commissary oh the uh, i've seen uh, banged up yeah board. yeah 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 <laughs> yeah well, they they all have like a prison account yeah and it's it, they take it off as uh, supposedly no cash in the prison yeah not well, i would say where my heart would go out would be so it's a bit like a, a food court then you go and buy your coupon <laughs> yeah, I, I, my heart would go out <laughs> to uh not quite um Although some of the food courts I've been to <laughs> probably look like a prison canteen. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Um, my, my heart would go out to the people that the prisoners that did have money and the ones that didn't. Yeah. Because there were ones that could afford luxury items, whereas Absolutely. somebody that you couldn't even see mm. wasn't getting your sausage rolls, wasn't getting the the salt, the soap, the yeah, toothpaste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I look at them and I would feel like well, I, I don't know how I would react. I think the British guys, whatever we took in, and there was a few of us, we we had sort of we called ourselves, or somebody named us the Jailbirds. <laughs> the Jailbirds. <laughs> yes. Great. And um, whatever we took in, they they divvied up. You know, they share. Yes, 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 yes. And if they got the, like um, uh, if, like a Burmese prisoner who I, I still write to, he's, I can't see him because I can't get a letter from the Burmese embassy to, with permission. So I can't see him, but I write to him often. Well, yeah. Anybody watching can handle that. Yes. Gail yeah. Bailey, <laughs> MBE. So I I write to him regularly now. Okay. Well, most weeks, but he writes to me. And he sends letters to his family, um, which I scan and email. He was extradited to that. Uh, no, no, he's oh, still he, in. He's still in. Oh, yes, oh, it, hopefully. So it's not just UK. It's not just uh, UK uh, prisoners you're visiting. Uh, well, it, it they're the only ones you're allowed to visit. They it communicate didn't, with others as well. There didn't used to be. We could we could go and call out um, any prisoner. You know, it didn't matter whether whether the British. Nationality. Were British. Didn't oh. matter. Oh. You know. And we picked up some th that were friends with the British guys, but um, they they did clamp down. We can't we can't send any parcels in. We can't take anything. We can only buy things from the prison shop now, because we, they used to be frightened that we would send in um, drugs, phone, phones or drugs in mm. into or the yes. files. Also, yeah, so, so <laughs> file in the cake. Yes. <laughs> so, so today you you you, you can't send nothing. packages. Yeah? Yes, nothing. So, so do you give them food still though? Have no, you, no, oh, they no, can't no, have no, home, no. But, but, it, it, but it, they actually can uh, have pizza uh, if we order them a pizza. And one for the guards. Yeah. Um, I think that could happen. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so you sure. so they can't have home no, cooked. No. But you know what the main mm. thing that the guys always say is the visit. The visit is is the important mm. thing. Mm. And we've actually been in on contact visits. And one year one of the um chaps he said to me he said, "Oh, you know, Gailey, I've got two I'm allowed two a year con a contact because when you visit you don't sit here, you know." It's on the phone and bars oh, and gaps. Yeah, I've yeah. Seen this on the TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that? Yeah. It's not like around a. Oh no, table. no, 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 no. And he said. So, so it is too full because I saw something where there was actually a gap. Yeah. Oh, there is. Uh, and there, and yeah. there's no phone. They were, they were, sh they were shouting. Oh, at each other, that's you know? a immigration detention detention huh. centres like a bit that. Like a bank. <laughs> it, it's yeah. It's horrendous when you're doing that when oh. all, everybody's shouting. Yeah. But um, you've done that. Yes, yes, at, at immigration detention centre. That's that's pretty grim. I've heard so. so. Immigration, I've heard it's got a terrible name. The, but also, you're going to Clong Prem. I go to Clong Prem now because Bang Kwang, I don't know any of the British guys in there. And it, it's a heck of a trek yeah. to get there as well. Um, if people wanted to visit, I should ask this question at the end, but I'm going to do it yeah. now because it's yeah, in yeah. order. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How. How do people say I wanted? I decided I want to visit people in prison. Yes. How hard is it? How easy is it? What do I have to do? Well, it would depend. Um, some people want to come to Thailand and tick it off the bucket list. In fact, there used to be oh, uh, things at uh, in Khao San Road for the mm. people to go. And the guys said they regarded those as banana visits because they felt like monkeys, monkeys in a zoo. Mm. Um, but if somebody genuinely wants to go, then they contact the embassy 
Um, but if they know somebody, it's easier because it? okay. because sometimes the prisoners don't will not don't or will say they don't want their names given out mm -hmm. to anybody. Mm. But if if like the families, um, and that's the other thing I find I found that the guys come and they they more or less how they do it I don't know they accept that they've got a long time in prison. Uh, but it's I mean, how long are you talking about? Some of the people you oh, see. Oh, life. Which is what? Life? Life, yes, here. But normally then they would transfer back after a, after to eight years. country of origin. After eight years, they can transfer back after eight years. So if you were caught with like a load of cocaine or whatever, oh, yeah, yeah. You, they say life, right? Yeah, yeah. And then maybe after eight years, you'd go back to you the can UK transfer where back you'd to probably then oh, you'd have free to go. then or Oh, not. no, no, no. Do not. they have to carry yes. the sentence out? Well, they have to, They re it's reassessed. And of course, in England, more friendly towards well. The yes, yes. Mm. I don't. Life is not about fourteen and fifteen yeah, years. Yeah, that's what I thought. But most of the guys that I've visit, first visited, um, they're all free now, which is great. Mm. But you know, the mothers, the families suffer mm -hmm. more. And one, one quote from one yeah. chap, which I, he's only a young chap, and he's he's had he's been in there eight years now. Really lovely, lovely man. Uh, you know, he's like at the same age as my son. And he said to me once, he said, he said, I read a really angry letter from my mother. I said, I'm not surprised. You're a baby and you're in this place. You know, the pits, it was in the, in the rehabilitation centre, you know, where they, they don't have so much, so many facilities for the prisoners to do during the day. And he said, what can I say? He said, Mom, and this, this covers it. I was greedy and stupid. And that's, you know, because well. they're not... I mean, a lot of people watching are going to say, yeah. we're full of empathy, yes. which is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they did something wrong. Oh, and I, yes. But, and they've been judged and they do the sentence. And they do don't... they accept that? Moment? Yes, yes, they do. What but are the conditions affects... like that in there? Uh, on a scale to uh, one to ten, what would you say? I would say probably two or three. Because um, the facilities are limited. They're given three blankets uh, to live. It's like either put three on the floor or one on the floor, one for your pillow and one over you. You know, when it's cold, it's... And how many in a cell? Oh, it depends, but a lot. And your space is limited maybe to 18 inches or something like that. I mean, so, you hear some horrific stories, yes, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. About how many are crammed. Mm. You can hardly turn over. I well, mean, one, is it like that? Yes. Well, one guy who's free now, he told me that he, he couldn't sleep sitting down he had to sleep on his back with his knees up you know because he just didn't have room to uh move about what about food food i think the bay well that's the thing if, uh, if, if you're not getting help if they don't get any uh, if they don't have any extra money from family they do get some money from prisoners abroad the british guys do and it's about two thousand baht a month um but if they don't get any extra money two thousand baht a month yes well, I mean, okay, that's, that's from not a, UK, a lot, but... That's from a UK charity. That's not, you know, there's people that but, are not in prison surviving on 2,000 baht a month up country. It, yes, I'm sure, people. yes, yeah. But they would have access to f fresh veg and water. stuff like water, yeah. yeah because yeah. the prison shops are not cheap. This is what I'm beginning <laughs> to think, you see. It's not quite like, it's, you know, it's not... So a bar not, of soap might cost twice as much as they, it would they, they, they do, they, Well, that's what we used to send in, in our parcel soap, because... They were charging double in the prison. You know, everybody's making money, sort of thing. Well, so, I thought yeah. it's that more of a punishment than a making. See, I always like to think yeah. that that's part of the punishment. Well, like, yes, that yeah, soap yeah. is a hundred baht, not fifty baht. That's but right. That's your pun. But yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah. Because they're making money. Yeah. Perhaps other people, though, is, is the outside people that didn't do it who are having to finance that. Yes. Uh, so mm. you sort of look at morally. Is that is that is that correct? <laughs> And where does that profit go to? Does it go back into the prison authority or does it go back into keeping the prisoner? Or I'm not sure where it goes yeah. to. I'm not, I, I don't know. It depends on who runs it. Is it violence that you know? I mean, obviously, I you're not there 24-7. The no, no. Are, are they foreigners safe I think, I yeah, think, Are they safe there? I think the British, especially, um, are OK because they know they've got the backing of the British Embassy. Do they get special treatment? No, I don't know. Same no. as a Burmese prisoner? Yeah, yeah, same yeah, as yeah, a yes. Vietnamese but the, prisoner? But Thai. Some, if you haven't got, if the guys, the Burmese or the, the Viet, I didn't know any Vietnamese, but quite a lot of uh, Burmese, if they haven't got the backing of their embassy, you know, or their embassies don't, if there's, if there's a complaint or something, can, then 
that's it, they, they can't be pursued. It, is it easy for a prisoner, if they are backed by the embassy, yeah. is, it, is it easy to get in contact with your embassy? Would the prison try and block or they no, make no, it no. accessible for no. you to complain or how does that work? Well, the embassies are only, only really are expected to go every three months to mm. see them. All right. So uh, representatives from the British Embassy would go and see a British Embassy? Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes, they go. But Saying, probably, are you being treated? Yes, or have you yeah, got yeah. any complaints? I've never heard of any of the British guys having been uh, violence. They've witnessed a lot of violence, you know, between ties and beatings from years ago. I don't. I mean, they're talking years ago. Um, well, you hear horror stories from American yes, prisons about yes, shivs yeah, and whatever yeah. they're called. Uh, yeah. and some banged up abroad in Brazil and yes, yeah. is it that bad here I uh, think, from I, what you can I think gather? It, I think there have been occasions when it has been really bad but you know the guys when we used to visit them they didn't tell us too much you know mm -hmm. they, they because they knew then It'd probably be recorded anyway if it, you well, they say, yeah but they said with our accents how on earth anybody yeah. <laughs> I get that with a Scottish accent <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 this programme by the way does come with subtitles <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the Scottish <laughs> what, what, what sort of offences are they actually in for in well the, the ones that I saw uh, were all in for drugs and that's, that's you know, lots of drugs or a little bit of drugs lots or, of drugs or? lots of drugs but one guy one guy said he got 20, over 20 years and he said if it have, for what he did or what he was caught with in England he wouldn't even have gone to prison so I said well thereby hangs the difference yeah. you know you were here in Thailand, so... So after eight years, if you went back and they reassessed it, would you yeah. just be let free? Or would no, the no, no, yeah, 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 no, so, no, because, so, because oh, as well, because if no. they have high sentences, they're, well, they, they're thought to be high risk. So life, you've been given life, as you say here it's mm. life, yeah. England is 15, yeah. so if you serve eight, you've yeah. got another they, they seven would be. years And also do. with amnesties, and um, the, the, the time would be re you know, reduced as well. Mm. And, and so hopefully, and they're all hoping, and um, please God it happens, that there's going to be an amnesty for, for the coronation. Yes. Because if there isn't, uh, there's some of them that I know will be free. The Burmese guy and, and one of the British guys should be free if the amnesty happens. I thought they weren't anyone for drugs. I heard that for amnesties, that they wouldn't fall under that well, rapist, murderer. Well, well, what they do, they, 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 they give them a different percentage. Oh, uh, yeah, the, the, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Well, they get re a reduced um, instead of getting like a fifth, they get like an eighth reduction. So that's right. how that's right. how they keep the the difference. It's a bit of a morbid question, but in a way, it's just quite come to me. It's not on the mm. list here. If someone dies in prison, right, mm. uh, of natural causes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is their body released to the family, and it, everything then is normal? Or I, I honestly don't know. I know that one of the guys said when we visited once. Uh, an inmate, an inmate had died through the night, mm. and the god, that they had to wait till six o'clock in the morning before they, could. they came came and opened the door to take the body out. But oh, okay. you know, it's 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 pretty grim. It's, well, prisons you know, aren't five yes. star hotels. But, well, you no. Know. Um, one, the guy that transferred back to UK, he told me um, that he had his own cell. Mm -hmm. He had his a f telephone and a mm. and a. And a TV, a nice healthy well, ATM and, and, and he had fresh milk delivered every day. Yeah. I said, "What with a horse and cart?" He said, "No, no, no, don't be daft, you know." But but he had some money in the ATM. Uh, yes, well, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. You know, yeah. mentioned earlier on uh, off camera about uh, you know one guy that uh, did get sent back to the UK yeah, and yeah. He, it was for paedophilia or yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah. And he actually said he wanted to go back to Thailand. That's right. Yeah. So th they don't. There's, there's not the same dangers in there for no. paedophiles. And no, no, no. Far more. Well, he do in the UK. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. I think that um, when he went back, he didn't realise that what he'd been up to was not deemed in the same level as here. Far more acceptable here. Yeah. And yeah. whether it, yeah. whether I'm probably not saying it's acceptable. Mm -hmm. But, but not as bad not as, as it, bad yeah, UK yeah, yeah. the other prisoners well, you know I, I never he was British I never visited him because so you I think so him. like gangs and mafia do exist in in Kong Prem and that oh all the guys sure. told me they'd be like drugs gangs yes yes I won't name the nationality I'll tell no. you when we come off <laughs> off, off life but yeah. uh yes yeah okay. but I was saying when we had the, when we had the con the first contact visit had with this chap 
and um, he was he said he came out and one of the other one of the other girls came in with me and she's a year older than me and he said oh he said all the other guys he said they're that jealous that I'm you know, I'm going to have a contact visit with you, and I yeah. says, "Contact visit is where there's, there's no barrier." Yeah, that we just, sat, you, you know, we sat the there. Like yeah, the he came, yeah. he came for a big hug, and he said, "Oh, I said, you know, this is your first date in five years, and you've got two pensioners." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he, said, he said, "I don't care." He said, "It's great. Come here, you know. It, it's just, you know, when you can't actually just put I hold know. somebody." I know. I, I mean. You know, what, they're locked up in their cells during the night, right? Yes. And yeah. they're let out in the morning. At Six till three. Six, three? Three p.m., yes. And then that's it, lights yes, out, yes, as yeah. it were. Well, Well, yes. they have their meal, I and guess. They and they stopped allowing them to take pencils and paper to the room. And that's when the guys would... What are they? Yes, yeah. What do yeah. they do between three and six? That's a lot. Not of a time lot. They can watch tight, uh, watch Thai television in if, the cell. You can. Well, there'd be a there big, there'd be a big screen. Oh, I think right. you know, not an individual one, but yes. Well, yes. What do they do from six in the morning till three? That's yeah. what I'm saying. Well, oh, a lot, a well lot at least they can walk around. A lot of them, d you know, exercise. they shower, shower twice when they get up, and then before they go, uh, exercise. Lots of them were quite keep yeah, looking fit. after. Yeah, I bet and stop and stop smoking. You know, they stopped they smoking. No, well, and the ones, the cigarettes. I said, I think they were they used to sweep up in the factories the, the, and the put sweeping. Them in. Yeah. We used to call the number sixes the sweeping ups of the sweeping ups. <laughs> yeah. This was crud tip or something like that. that crud tip, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I yeah. don't know. I've never yeah. smoked. So, so with, with what you're doing just now, is is this un, under an organisation? Well, mainly the British, it's the British Women's Group that have been visiting but we, we don't get any um, sponsorship from them mm -hmm. you know and like sometimes when we've been out there when and, and it's Klong Prem is on Nam Wong Wang Bang Kwang is at Nantabury mm. it can cost five or six hundred baht in fares getting mm. there and back mm. but the guys say you know it's just great f for us to go and have a chat and then then I'll do the emails to the families saying I've seen so and so it's fine, sends his love. Any problems or any messages, you know, okay. so. So you communicate, you're in com communication with their, their family? Yes, right? yes, 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 it's yes. It's very personal. It, it, and, and well, it must be quite emotional. It, it can be, and it has been at I times, yes, yes. Uh, one question I forgot to ask you yeah. was that they do have a chance to work, especially the one out near us, near Nontembury. They make furniture and stuff. Yeah, and but not, not the British them? guys. Not the British guys. No. Not foreigners. That's that's for ah. Thais, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, they used to have lots of things, yes. Oh. Lots of lots of factories inside, but not, not the British guys. Oh. They, okay. Uh, they got nothing to do? They, they uh, no. Listen. Read. Um, where do they get the books from? Well, yes. we can take from, books in yeah. if we if we have letters. I used to take bags and bags and bags of books, but now we can have to, two at a time. Can people send books to you, or do you have an address uh, where well, we can? Where, please you, not, because we're not, not to you. Yeah. <laughs> I've only got a small apartment. No, yeah, no. yeah. No, what we do, British Women's Group have actually got a bookcase in the Royal Oak. And so we've got some books in there, so I'll go and read those. But can, like the viewers, can yes, they, if they want yes, to if donate? Yes, yes, if they want to donate books to take them to the Royal Oak and yeah. leave them with my so name on. 33... I don't slots. know where the Royal Oak is. Oh, you lie. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> Your nose is growing. <laughs> <laughs> Pinocchio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, they can take them there, and uh, the money that we get that actually goes to the British Women's Group Welfare but I also I I just relocate them, you right. know, if if necessary. I've got I've still got quite a few. Well, yes. we've got to wind up now. Uh, yeah. if, well, one, one, one more question. I thought you might. Um, yeah, but that's <laughs> why you really say it. Yeah. Uh, what would you like to see changed uh, Where? within the prisons and uh, with the relationship with the UK? Oh, well, it's it's quite difficult because when they're here, they're under the auspices of the the British Embassy with the Foreign Office in London. But the people in the foreign, o foreign Office in London don't really know what it's like out here or mm. in the prisons. And I mean, they, they, they don't, they used to have phone cards where they could phone their families. Mm. They have mm. no, you know, I remember saying, you know, the parents saying, oh, I just heard his voice, you know, first time in three or oh, four years. As a parent myself. Oh, it, it's, it's all the, the families. I said to the guy. Because the, the parents other, haven't made a mistake. That's right. That's wrong. right. I said the other week to one of them. I said, you know, I visit you, but I said if you were my son, I don't know how I would cope. 
I really don't know. Nor do I. No. I don't know. Yes. Well, you, you, it's a basic, you, it almost brings tears to your eyes. Oh, I can see that. You yes, know, because yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know how, you would have to get on with it, obviously. Yes, but, yes, yeah, uh, yeah. So what, you'd, you'd want them to come back, and, you know, uh, phone cards or, or get them into Yes, access, if, uh, if, if, if uh, 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 yes. a particular location. Yes, that's right, yeah. A line or a yeah, WhatsApp yeah, call. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And they don't have that? Nothing, no. No outside. The only is snail mail with the, with the letters. And they're a bit slow. Is there anything else you'd like to see? Uh, within the prisons or you well I, I would think it would be good if the British guys or any of the foreigners or the Thais you know the Thais can actually have educational mm -hmm. they can do things uh, but the, the foreigners the, there are no facilities mm -hmm. It's not. It's almost not designed for them. That's right. Well, it isn't. Well, and, and, and it's the, a Thai prison. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So it's I, not I mean, I, I say English. you know to my family that come, you know, behave yourself. Cause well, that was our last not, question. Yeah. What do? You, what is your advice of foreigners <laughs> who visit Thailand? <laughs> Before you get to that, any other changes? Oh, you would sorry, like to sorry. I don't. I, I don't really. Yeah, I, but, um, I, it's very difficult because I, you know, when we go inside, there's a garden and the, you see the. Uh, yes, flowers nice and there's, and it doesn't look too bad but when obviously the guy's actually inside in the buildings then it's a different ball game right, we don't within see that the, the oh, I would think if uh, well exchange programs yes yes the exchange yes, programme yes, the, 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 the exchange program and probably make it easy because when they do apply to transfer it can take up to a year anyway right. and if they've got a sentence under 10 years I think they have to be yeah. uh, wait four years before they can actually apply yeah mm -hmm. and over over 10 years they have to serve eight years before they can apply it's amazing because in the uk just now they're trying to pass uh, a law oh it's uk or the scotland mm. anyone that is sentenced for less than a year will not go to jail mm. yeah well you know why because they're trying to clear out the jail <laughs> well the prisons here are overcrowded as well yes but so, look at the uh, yeah the running costs yes. of, say, a tight says me. I don't know what I don't know anything about it, but I can imagine the running costs, not, uh, like an English prison, with yeah. the cost of living in England yes. and everything else. Phenomenal the, the salaries of guards. Yes, just that's leave right. It at that. Yes, yes. It's they don't need prisoners. I but, don't know what the know. guards get paid, but I wouldn't imagine it's an awful lot of money. No. 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 Okay. Well, we want to give you an award, really, don't we? What, what, what <laughs> yeah, you, absolutely the fantastic. next award will be will be for a living saint, because <laughs> I think people that do what you do uh, in the manner that you do it, you don't blow off, you don't show off, you just do it. And uh, you're just Gail, yeah. you're just <laughs> mum, you're mum, girl, girl, <laughs> belly, mum to many, and MBE. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thank honestly. you. You've I'm, been a doll, I'm still really. feeling very highly honoured and very humbled. Oh. You know because. I'm just, I just do what I do, yeah, I, you yeah. know, without ulterior That's motive. Right, <laughs> yeah. Well, there we go. So that was a, a spotlight uh, this week, and there'll be another one in uh, two weeks from now. And next week, uh, there'll be just our normal chit chat thing when Andrew and me shoot the breeze, do our what's on and clip pics, etc., etc. If you're watching through YouTube, if you've already subscribed, but if you haven't, please subscribe, like, and share. And the same goes for people that are watching it through Facebook. That's it, really? Anything yeah, else to say? No, that's it. Yeah, okay, See thanks for soon. joining us. See you next time. Bangkok Chit Chat.